Hello everyone and welcome to another video with Mathematics with Marlene. In today's video, we'll be comparing and ordering decimal numbers. But before we start, there's just one thing I want you to take notice of. I already explained this in the previous video, but I also want to mention it here. All around the world, we use two different decimal separators. Some countries use a comma as a decimal separator and other countries use a point as a decimal separator. I use a decimal comma as a decimal separator. Now that doesn't change anything else except the fact that it's a comma and not a point. All the rules stays exactly the same. So now that we have that out of the way, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to compare decimal numbers. But before we do that, let's just jump back a little bit to what we already know. If you want to compare two whole numbers, you will look at the place values and you will start at the biggest place value and work your way to the smallest place value. So we will first look at the hundreds and we will ask ourselves, which one is bigger? Both of them is one hundredths, so we need to move on to the next place value. And the next place value is the tens. Now we ask ourselves again, which number has the highest tens value? The seven is bigger than the five. So one hundred and seventy-five is going to be bigger than one hundred and fifty-seven. So let's use this same concept, the same way of determining which one is bigger, which one is smaller, and we just use it with decimal numbers now. So here is our first example. We have 2,39 and we have 2,43. So we're going to use our place values, starting from the highest place values to the lowest place values to determine which one of these decimal numbers is the highest. Now we start at the ones, the ones are the highest place value here. So we start at the ones. So we have two and two. They are both the same. So now we move on to the next place value. So our next place value is a decimal place value. We are moving on to the tenths. So now we ask ourselves again, which one is bigger, the three or the four? The four is bigger than the three. It doesn't matter what the values of the hundredths is. The four is bigger than the three in the tenths place value. So 2,39 is going to be smaller than 2,43. Now let's look at another example. Here we have 15,425 and 15,429. Now let's look at our place values again. And we start at our largest place value and we move to the smallest place value. So first we have one and one in our tens place value. So they are equal, so we need to move on to the next place value. In the ones place value, we have five and five. So we move on to the next place value. So the next place value is in the decimal place values. So we have tenths, we have four and four. So they are both equal again. So we move on to the next place value. And in the hundredths place value, we have two and two. So we still have another digit left. So we move on to the thousandths. And now we have five and nine. So which one is bigger? Nine is bigger than five. So 15,425 is going to be smaller than 15,429. So let's move on to the next example. Now we have 27,13 and 21,97. So let's start at our biggest place value. So first at the tens place value, we have two and two. So they are the same. So we move on to the next place value. In the ones place value, we have seven and one. Which one is bigger? The seven is bigger than the one. So 27,13 is going to be bigger than 21,97. And now to the next example, 
here we have 31,7 and 31,68. Just because 31,68 has more decimals than 31,7 doesn't mean it's bigger. We still use our place values. We start at the biggest place value until we reach a place value where one is bigger than the other. So don't let a question like this catch you off guard. You still do this step by step until you reach the answer. Don't just assume one is bigger than the other because it looks bigger. So first we have three and three in the tens place value. They are the same, so we move on to the next place value. In the ones place value, we have one and one, so we move on to the decimal place values. So in the tens place value, seven is bigger than six. So 31,7 is going to be bigger than 31,68. So even though 31,7 doesn't have a hundredths place value, it's still bigger than 31,68 because the tenths place value is bigger. And for the last example, we have 8,46 and 8,460. Now let's have our place values. So we start at the biggest place value. So first we have ones. So eight and eight. They are both equal. So we move on to the decimal place values. So in the tenths place value, we have four and four. So they are still equal. So we move on to the hundredths. So in the hundredths place value, we have six and six. They are still equal. So we need to move on to the next place value, but only 8,460 has a next place value. But what I want you to see, when you add a zero at the end of a decimal number, you don't change the value of that decimal number. You can add as many zeros as you like at the end of a decimal number and the value won't change. So 8,46 is exactly the same as 8,460. So that is why you can add that zero to compare the two decimal numbers and it won't change the value of the number. So we have zero and zero in the thousandths place value and they are still both equal. So 8,46 is equal to 8,460. And just before I carry on, there will be two worksheets in the description box underneath this video. It's going to be exactly the same worksheet. One is for when you work with a decimal comma and the other one is for when you work with a decimal point. So you can just go and download the correct worksheet for you in whichever country you are and whatever decimal separator you use. So now let's go on and we are going to order decimal numbers. You know now how to see which decimal number is bigger than the other. So now you can go ahead and order a few decimal numbers in the correct order. So let's rewrite these four decimal numbers in ascending order. And ascending order means from smallest to largest. So we're going to rewrite these decimal numbers from the smallest to the largest. So we are going to compare these decimal numbers in the same way we did in the beginning of the video. So let's get started. So we're going to compare the place values from the biggest place value to the smallest place values. So the biggest place value we have here is ones. So the smallest among them is four. And there are two decimal numbers with four in the ones place. So we're first going to look at those two decimal numbers and we're going to determine which one of those two are the smallest. So to do that, we look at the next place value. So that is tenths. And now we just need to determine between the eight and the six, which one is the smallest. And obviously it is six. Six is smaller than eight. So 4,68 is going to be the smallest decimal number. So we write down 4,68 and we cancel it because we already wrote it down. And the next smallest number is 4,86. 
so I write that one down and I also cancel it. So now all that we have left on the board is 8,46 and 6,84. So we start all over again, we first compare our ones. 6 is smaller than 8, so 6,84 is going to be smaller than 8,46. So we write down 6,84 and I cancel it because I already wrote it down and then my last number is 8,46. Let's look at a second example. So in this example, you need to rewrite these five decimal numbers in descending order. In other words, from the largest, from the biggest number to the smallest number. Now to get the biggest number, we are going to follow that same steps. We're going to start at the biggest place value. In this case, we have tens. So three of these five decimal numbers has numbers in the tens place value. So we have three and all three of them has a value of three in the tens place. So we need to look at the ones place as well. We are only working with those three numbers until we have them in order before we carry on to the other two we are not working with yet. So for those three, we look at the next place value, the ones. So we have zero, three, and zero. So the biggest between those three is the one with the three in the ones place value. So 33,033 is the biggest among all of these numbers. So we need to write that one first. And then we can cancel it because we are done with it and just so it doesn't confuse us in the future. So now we still have 30,003 and 30,033. So the next place value is tens and they are both zero. So the next place value is hundredths and now we have a difference. And the biggest between zero and three is the three in the hundredths place value. So our second largest number is 30,033. So we cancel that number, we are done with it. And now we know our third largest number is 30,003. And we're also done with that one. So now we only have two decimal numbers left. So we do exactly the same, we start with the highest place value. So we look at the ones of both of those numbers. They are both three. So we need to move on to the next place value. The next place value is the tens and they are also both three. So we carry on to the next place value, the hundredths. And now we have a bigger number. So three is bigger than zero. So three comma three 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 is the fourth biggest number so I can cancel that one so our last and our smallest decimal number is 3,303 so this was just a few examples for comparing and ordering decimal numbers but if you want to go and practice this some more I have a worksheet in the description box below you can just go and download the correct one for you I have one for when you're working with a decimal point and one for if you're working with a decimal comma so just make sure you download the correct worksheet and memo and if you haven't already and this video helped you remember to like this video and also to subscribe to my channel and then I will see you in the next video goodbye